Now's the time when we pass the peace of Christ to each other. Peace of Christ, Becky. Peace of Christ, Mom. It's true that we cannot be together in the sanctuary yet, but we've proven that we can still reach out to others no matter where they are. Even the McQuaids in Scotland are watching us now. And I want to do a special shout out to two families that will be moving next month, Patty Hajerhausen and the Sersik family. So let's pass the peace forward with them. Peace of Christ, Patty. Oh, hi, Miss Nancy. Peace of Christ to you too. So where are you moving to next month? Well, my son, my oldest son and my grandkids are up in Washington State, and that's actually where I came from right before I came here, so I'm, we're going to get a place up there in Washington State, and that's where I'm going back to. Oh, that is so wonderful. Well, we thank you for all that you've done at JKPC. You've really been a, a wonderful part of the church and teaching kids and all of the ways you've helped her around the campus. You know what? I, I thank you guys for what you gave me because the first day that I came to the church, and I remember Mavis saying, you know, greeting me and telling me how wonderful it was. And everybody was so friendly. And so I, I just made such an impact. I'm gonna remember that in my new church that I'm gonna make sure I do the same thing you guys did to me, make new people welcome. So I thank you for that. And ah, I will miss you. Thank you for passing that peace in Washington <laughs> then. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Peace of Christ, Cindy. Peace of Christ, Nancy. Did you just finish with graduations at the preschool? We did, it was so sweet. Mm. The kids are gonna miss you and you know, we're gonna miss you because you're moving next month, I, I hear? I am, we leave July 1st. Oh my goodness, and where are you moving to? We're going back home to Arizona. Back home, that's awesome. Tell Hunter and Grant I'm gonna miss them and we really thank Hunter for all of his Facebook Live videos he really shared a lot of joy with others during this time of shelter in place. So Thank you. He's really enjoyed it as well. Do you think he'll keep it up when he goes to Arizona? I think so. He, it's good practice for him. He wants to be a famous YouTuber. So. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Well, what else are you going to do when you, go, when you move to your new home? Oh, um, you know, we're excited to have our own home again after moving around with the military. And so we're focused on building our new home and finding a new home church. Hopefully it'll be as great as this one. You guys have been wonderful. Aw. Well, when you are there, say, I'm hoping they do pass the peace like we do here so that you can definitely keep the peace moving forward. Moving forward. We will. You know, and Grant told me the other day that I'm always in the light and I know it's because I have God's love just shining through me. And we're going to continue, I'm going to cry now, I'm going to continue to smile at everybody and offer help and teach my boys to do the same. Oh, so bless you. We love you. you guys. We'll miss you. We love you too. May the peace of Christ go with you wherever you go. Thank you. Love you. Good morning. Who knows why I'm blowing up balloons today? That's right, to celebrate Pentecost Sunday. It's the day that Christians remember when God gave them and filled them up with the Holy Spirit. Let me tie this first. The Bible tells us in the book of Acts how people from all over the country came to Jerusalem to celebrate Pentecost. It was a Jewish holy day, 50 days after Passover we find that Jesus' disciples were huddled together in a room. It was 10 days after Jesus had gone to heaven, but Jesus promised his friends a gift, a special helper would come. I need to tell you more about it. I wish I had some help in telling you this. Oh my goodness, look, it's the Drouvet kids. I think they were coming to bring some cards over to the seniors at Pleasanton Sunrise. Let me put on my mask and see if I can get them to help me with this. Hi, Davis, Avery, and Savannah. Thank you for acting out the story of Pentecost with me. Do you guys like presents? Of yeah. course, yeah. When do you? Like, uh, 100%, yes. 100%? What kind of presents do you like? Um, yeah, I like presents. Remote control cars. Oh, I thought you were going to say a video game. Very cool. Well, I do like video games, too. <laughs> well, well, you know what? For Pentecost, God gave us the most special present ever. He gave us the gift of the, the Holy Spirit. You took the words out of my mouth. Okay, awesome. Let's pretend you're Jesus' disciples waiting for the gift. They waited and they prayed. They missed their friend Jesus, but they knew, they knew that Jesus would not let them down. 
and suddenly there was a strong wind that filled the room. It was a strong wind, and then all of a sudden, it looked like flames that were above their heads, but they did not burn them. Their hearts were made full and filled with the Spirit, and they shouted out all about Jesus in different languages. They were so happy. Believe in him. See Jesus. Jesus loves you. Wow! On that Pentecost Sunday, over 3,000 people were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were baptized. They were Christians. And the good news is, did they keep that information to themselves? No! They shared the good news with others, too. The same Holy Spirit that's mentioned in the book of Acts is alive in our lives too. We are all filled with the Holy Spirit and the Spirit can guide us to make the right choices and be more like Jesus. The Holy Spirit can comfort us when we're sad or give us courage when we're afraid. And you know what? We're also called to share the love of Christ. The Spirit will help us do that, to model to others and to pass it forward so others can be more like Jesus too. We just need to take the time each day to pray, to hear the Holy Spirit so that the Spirit can work in our lives. Let's say a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you for all of us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for love. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen.